All right. Um. So this time I'm going to try the Wicked King, and I'm gonna try to beat him using Shadow Walker. Um. Let's see how it goes. Let's. So, yes, as we can see, his endurance is 225, which I think is, which I think might be the standard for monsters these days that have any endurance to begin with. So it's, he has a pretty decent amount of endurance and a pretty decent amount of health as well. So we're going to see how much HP we can take from him every time we use Shadow Walker's skill. And since we're in challenge mode, we also have to deal with this prismatic burn, which is pretty, pretty annoying and can kill you pretty quickly if you can, if you don't know how to manage it or if you can't kill him quickly enough. So at the same time, we see that he has Fearful Presence, which means no matter what you do, there's a chance that he's going to get the first turn. So that's not very good. So usually what I like to do is I would like to start off in a Fire Armor and a Fire Shield. So I'm going to change into Tyrannosaurus Rex and hopefully I'll get the first turn on him. But... And we do this time. So just now, if we didn't get the first turn, I would have had to take one turn of Prismatic Burn damage, and he would have also gotten a turn to attack me. His normal attacks don't actually do all that much. Even his spell, his fire spell, which, as you can see, uses his MP bar, it's not too bad. So the main thing that you have to worry about when you're fighting this one is the Prismatic Burn. And I think there are ways to manage it um, or basically like pretty much get it so low that it's pretty much nothing more than just a regular burn or bleed effect. And I think in one of um, Zero Phantom's videos, he was able to do that in the Paladin armor. I'm not sure how he did that. So if anyone knows, um, just feel free to tell me. But um, yes, yeah, so the thing w is you just keep stacking your Dragonlorn shields and get your health shield as high as possible. That's the best way to do it. And um, in the past, um, before Chief Sirenthorn became this, like, warrior exclusive shield that just has a strength toggle. Before that, um, when CIT was, like, a general purpose damage booster shield, um, obviously, I would have used White Knight Z and just mowed him down in three turns. And um, those old lean skills back in the day were the most powerful ones in the game. And they're still not up to current standards yet. And I don't know if the staff eventually has plans to like basically get them to modern standards, which would make them suck because they're going to be spell based that way. But back then, it was either White Knight Z or Kindred for me when I was fighting this guy. So, and I I don't think we had the Dragonlorn shields at that time. So it was really a race for time to see whether I was able to kill him before the Prismatic Burn got me. And it was always a risk, but right now, since we have just just how awesome the Dragonlorn shields are, um, we're able to kind of absorb and or cushion a lot of the damage that we uh, would have originally took from the Prismatic Burn. So um, I'm just going to switch into uh, the Necromancer armor. 
And Necromancer is just phenomenal. Um, and since it has a spellcaster lean, it boosts the amount of health that I can stack with each click of these shields. So that is always very, very good, especially in a fight like this where there's a constant DLT on you and it's a very strong one. So yeah. Um, after this, just before we do Purple Rain, um, we're going to check how much HP we've managed to stack. And um, sometimes when... It depends on the RNG, but sometimes when the Prismatic Burn is pretty strong, like doing over 700 damage per turn to me, I might still have to do like two or three more clicks of the Dragonlorn Shields um, in the course of battle, in the course of the battle. So that, that can happen. As you saw in some of my previous videos, like the Dodge Lash one, um, it was eating through my health barrier a bit more than I wanted. So I kind of had to do a few more clicks. I don't know what's going to happen this time. Again, I don't know how good Shadow Walker's skill is against this, but we'll find out. We'll find out pretty soon. So, um, just going to do Spotter Drake for some extra status potence. Um, as for the shields, um, what do I want to use? He hits with, he hits with fire, so... I'm just going to gonna equip Heart Defender. And I actually forgot to do a Dodge Lash setup this time. That's what I would have normally done. Um, let's see. Let's see what let's see what we want to use. It's just purple rain, everything back. And um let's see how much health we managed to stack. We've managed to stack actually we can't even see right now, so this kind of sucks. Yeah, as you can see, um, it's not doing so well against him. It's it's not doing so well. Um, and he misses all of his hits, so. We're gonna try again. Oh, if we, if if only we could see how much health we've actually stacked them, um, that would be a lot more helpful. I guess they haven't found a way to show all the active status effects on the same screen or the same page or whatever. Um, we could still go for a bit of dodge lash. And um, I'm just gonna use um, Summoning Stone and um, use the skill again. So. Nah, that wasn't a lot of damage. Uh, we can't see, we can't really see just how much of the health barrier we still have left. So it's kind of like being blind right now. And yeah, kind of sucks that he has a high amount of endurance. I don't know if... Um, damage caps have anything to do with how well the skill works so if anyone can let me know that would be very helpful and um just in case i actually have no idea how much of an hp barrier we still have left i'm just gonna do a few more clicks so Back to Heart Defender. And 
and he's out of mana, so right now he's just going to do his regular two-hit attack, which is really nothing to worry about, so... Um, oh, come on, if I can... I want to see how much health I've stacked. So this is just his regular attack, not nothing to really worry about. I have a feeling I'm gonna die this time. I just have that feeling. Um, um yeah. This is making me really nervous because I don't know just how much of a health barrier I still have left before I start taking damage. Just let me see, come on, just, it's, it's not that difficult. Uh, this is making me really, really nervous. Um, just to be, just to play it safe, I'm gonna stack some more, so. Um... This is definitely not a strategy I would really recommend because as you can see just how slow it is, how tedious and how dangerous it is. Um, I would by far still just use a strong light or ice attack and just mow him down as quick as possible so this is definitely not something I think you should be keen to try. I'm just trying it out, but it is by no means something I would recommend, so. I think I might do one, maybe two more stacks. Let's start with one. Um, um, so, and two more turns and he should be dead. So that was, that was very dangerous. It's very dangerous to play this way um, because especially when you don't see just how much health, how much damage you're still being prevented from taking. And, uh, uh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Let me just give one more, one more stack, just, just to be safe. And um, we still have enough SP for the skill. And this is gonna be the end. And he's dead. All right, so I actually did it. That was a close call, though. So yeah, um, what can I say? Um, I'm just gonna skip the 
the next phase of the fight. Just not gonna bother with it. So what can I say? Just <sighs> to treat this as something for fun, but by no means, and I do mean it, don't try to copy what I just did. It's it's gonna make you sweat bullets. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, just take it as a lesson. Some things are just for fun and not meant to be taken too seriously. Like some of the things I've been trying on this channel in this game, um, just take it for what it's worth for entertainment. And um, yeah, um, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, if you guys want me to do more videos where I show what I think are the proper strategies for defeating off these bosses, if you want me to feature more of those instead of just me doing just trying out a bunch of like weird strategies on these all of these bosses to just feel free to let me know um and i'll try to just tell me which bosses you want me to feature and which bosses you want me to like um do a uh, proper strategy guides on and I'll, I'll try my best and just come up with them yeah so yeah i guess that's it